been a minute, guys. It's your boy Ice. Fresh off of work. I let my fast. I extended my fast today because I'm about to eat a lot. Some some days I just just hold it. It's just the longer I wait to eat, the hungrier I get. All right, I'm gonna do two things. I'm about to give y'all a review. Before I give y'all a review, real quick, I gotta do a quick year in cat. The year is about over, right? Um, been a hell of a year. Behind me is what made the cut out of all the cans y'all saw in all my previous videos. This is what made it. These a couple of these were gifted by other YouTubers, and I'm gonna, you know, uh, mention them, give y'all their link. Number one, I actually found this. This is my number one pick. This is Sunday Scaries. That's Sunday Scaries. So just follow me from here all the way down to number six. Sunday Scaries is a forger collab. These guys are out of Minnesota. It's a, a double dry hop, triple IPA. I went back. I got it from Ale Yeah, the uh, growler shop I get pretty, pretty good beers from, and they always get good stuff. I went back. They, they pff, sold out. Um, awesome. Awesome. Triple. Probably my favorite. Number two would be from my courtesy of my boy, uh, Ridge Opolis, a young Ishmael, currently going by Ishmael Claus. Uh, Normalize the signal. That's right next to Sunday Scaries, if you guys can see that. Um, by Hot Butcher. And Hot Butcher, I haven't had many things from them. Everything I've had from them was amazing. This was mind-blowing. Like, really, like almost a tie between Normalize the Signal and Sunday Scaries. They're neck and neck. Number three, though. Oh, number three, this is by far my favorite from Sycamore. You guys heard me talk about them. Nugs and Kisses. That's the third can. Oh. Maybe the only reason why I didn't put Nugs and Kisses at number one, it's because the availability of Sycamore. It's like really hard to get. They're good. They're the stuff they drop that are amazing. It's like a one and done. You go back and you try to get it. It's like the ones they have now, they're okay. <laughs> no, but I want that nugs and kisses. That's really good. Uh number four is Sugar High. Surprise. This is a surpriser. Go back and watch. I reviewed all these. You guys want to go back and watch the reviews for these. Sugar High from Red Hair. I'm a surpriser because Red Hair really, I don't know, maybe, it, it didn't say it was a collab, but this is the best that they've ever had. I've had a lot from them. I've just tried to support them. The first beer they had was a Long Day Lager, which is a Bohemian-style lager, and it's pretty, it's all right for a, for a lager. It's not bad. They've had others that I wasn't fans of, but that's Sugar High. <sighs> oh, it was a milkshake IPA. Yeah, that's what made it so good. It was a milkshake IPA, had the, the body. It had the, the it wasn't really that sweet, a little bit of sweetness, but super hoppy, super creamy. <laughs> Number five, imperfectly me craft, Chew and Mallory. Earlier this year, hung out with them. They gave me these last two beers are from them. Uh, this is uh from Noon Whistle. This is the Ghost Gummy. The Ghost Gummy had the habanero in there. This is amazing. I love spicy, so amazing. Oh. I was going to Chicago next year to see Chew and Mallory, and um, I'm going to try to get a case of those, if, if possible. All right, last but not least, uh, Insert Eye Roll, which is a double IPA. I forget exactly what hops. Uh, exactly what hops. Oh, yeah, Moteca, Raku, and Galaxy. This was This was good. Very good. The hot butcher just, they're mind blowing. They're amazing. All right, guys, on to this review. So, for those who are still watching, because some, you know, sometimes we don't have time to watch the entire video. Cool. Fast forward to the end, you want to see the, the, oh, let me tell you what it is first. I'm cracking them. I'm lost in the sauce with these wonderful beers. This is Trim Tab. Trim Tab. These guys are out of Alabama. Um, probably the best brewery from Alabama. I've had good people. I had a couple others. Good people's what comes to mind. This trumps. This is the best. I had not this particular. I've had something else from them. Uh, this is a uh, Echo in the Abyss. This is a double IPA, seven point six percent with Katu, K O H A T U, 
Katu and Strata. I know about Strata. So, I'm just going by these guys' name. I had, I tried a beer from them not too long ago. I didn't do, I didn't review it. Um, I don't know why. I don't review all of my beers. I drink a lot of different beers. I don't review all of them. I just really don't have time. And, yeah. Just from the color. Yeah. And the nose. Getting tangerine. Cit no, 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 no. What's what's a mellow citrus? Because you got some citruses that are sharp. That sting the nostril hairs. This is a... Not blood orange. Clementine, maybe? This is a subtle citrus. It's not sharp. It's not piney. It's not some 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 citrus are like piney. Whatever this Katu hops is, maybe that's what I'm getting. Unique. This is different. So we're already off to a great start. You know, I, I love unique, guys. Cheers. Yeah. I'll take another sip. Mm. Didn't have a can on date, but the store I get these from, the owner, I get these from a particular gas station, and the owner, he assured me that these are new, and I'm pretty sure they are, because I follow what comes, like when I when I get gas from this gas station, I'll be like, okay, you got this, you got, these guys are new. I'm not familiar, with, anybody familiar with Trim Tab, drop a comment, tell me if you know, have anything from them. But these guys are new and they're putting out some good, good stuff. They're putting out some good. They, oh, I have. They haven't disappointed me yet. And for them to be from Alabama, yeah, nice velvety mouthfeel. The balance, low, 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 low malts. We don't like the malts in our doubles. Low malts, uh, bitterness just right. Right on the money. Again, the mouthfeel is amazing. Very, very smooth. Yeah. We're Birmingham, Alabama. Double dry hopped. Thumbs up. You guys, anybody can get trim tab. Um, Ridge, you already know. If our next trade we do, I got to include these guys because I know you can't get this up there. So, and anybody else who want to want to get down and do some beer trades. I've only traded with Rajopolis, Wayne's Beer Delivery, Brian the Beer Snob, and Dave's TV. Yes. Yeah, that's it. So if anybody else is interested, drop your email. We'll do the rest. Cheers.